Hello everybody, and welcome back to Hyper Dimen or Mega Dimension Neptunia Victory 2, Episode 3. Pudding, pudding. Uh, we haven't really gotten super far in the game just yet, but uh, there are more cutscenes. They still don't have English voices. Correctly with this. It looks like this place doesn't actually have doesn't have dialogue no matter what. So I actually didn't read that. This place might be in shambles, but it's here, so we can at least buy items. It's only got the bare minimum of items lined up, though. Oh, all the story items that any respectable game should have are here. I suppose we can just change it back to English in the event that they ever come back. <laughs> works already. So we could buy stuff if we felt like it, but nothing... Looking through this allows you to see others, other people's heart rate, temperature, and stuff. No weapons available. Uh, level bracelets, no clothes, no attachments, no processors, no materials, and no idea chips. So that's something. Because of our situation, we have a place to build items set up too. We gotta make use of our surroundings. This does not have dialogue either. You can tell because it would say press Y for dialogue, regardless of the fact that we're on English. Like, it's still programmed to have dialogue, so... If there was dialogue in Japanese, we'd be able to tell right there. Oh, eco-friendly. Yes. Yes, we can make things. Everybody knows how this works. Don't care. Okay. For some reason, I thought an event would happen there, but that is not what happened. Let's try the event we need to go here. to was over here. We didn't get attacked by anything either. So that's exciting. All right. So, what's the game plan, Uzume? So, basically, a horde of monsters will approach the city before the giant does. We gotta get rid of the horde first. Pretty sure what I said was right. Yeah, see? It says play voice. Gotcha. So all we gotta do is defeat any monsters that come here, right? Sounds simple enough. Right on. I'm counting on you, Nepsy. Nepsy? Nepty. Nep whatever's too hard to pronounce. You're Nepsy now. I really don't get this whole Neptune is hard to pronounce thing, to be honest with ya. Must be a Japanese thing. And there it is. The usual and expected pattern of people I've just met being unable to pronounce my name. But it's a totally fresh and adorable nickname, so I'm pumped. By the way, you'll be Gearsy. Gearsy? Well, you can't both be called Nepsy, right? You'll be Gearsy. Gearsy. Gearsy, huh? <laughs> this might be the first time I've been given such a cute nickname. Welcome to the club, Nepgear. Well then, looks like the first wave is approaching. Come on, you two. Let's get fired up. You guys all fired up? Ready to rock. It's not really that exciting. I gotta protect the others. You're Let's gonna die me. here. She's kind of, she's aggressive. She's hella aggressive. But yeah, this is probably. Pro oh, how dare I? How how dare you exist? What? It's my turn. Oh, he didn't die. Isn't that nice for you? See? I can do it if I try! Yes, you can, Nepgear. Yes, yes, you can. Phew! I think we've taken care of all the monsters in the area. No, we've only endured the first wave. Here comes the second. <laughs> a lot 
lot larger than the ones we just fought. <laughs> you bastard! Of course you would be here! What? Uzume, are you... acquainted with this monster? <laughs> oh, we're much more than acquaintances by now. We've faced each other so many times, we're practically a pair of rotten best friends. Whenever I have an opportunity to challenge the giant, this asshole just loves to get in the way. I can't count how many times he stopped me. Hey, you mutt! This ends today! Right here, right now! That's a share crystal? Today, this is going to end differently, because I brought some friends with me who'd love to see you meet your end, along with that stupid giant! Share crystal! Transform! Magical world transformation sequence begin. Except we don't actually get a sequence. Which is kind of disappointing. I don't think these have ever... Well, no, I mean, they have a transformation sequence in actual battle, but they don't have, you know, whatever. Who are you? Neptune has learned a triburst. Nepgear has learned triburst. And Uzume Tanaboshi has learned triburst. Yes, teach me, Histi. Uh... Yeah. They are already in the front, so we're already good. Kinda wanna... Uh, um... I suppose I just go to equipment one night. So we can get a quick little look at her transformed form. Which is, uh... Mm. There we go. I was just using the wrong stick. <laughs> that's... that's silly. So yeah, that's her transformed state. Somewhat interesting, I suppose. We don't have any... Oh, yes we do. We can dress her up silly. We feel like it. You wanna go Wonderland? Let's go Wonderland. So cool! Does it fit We should be getting... It's kind of disappointing that she only has the base processor. Like, they should have... They should have, uh... Given, given her different primary processors. Or all of these costumes. They didn't, have, they didn't even have to make them, like... Give better stats or anything. Just make it so that they match. Because right now they kind of don't match. That's kind of meh. Like, why do I have 99 blank ones? That's interesting. Certainly is interesting. Either way, we've wasted enough time randomly messing with her stuff. <laughs> oh, so rude of you girls asking who I am. It's me, Uzume. Uzume. Let's do our best together, you two. Ugh, so tired. I feel like we can probably kill this guy in like one hit, if we feel like it. I'll go full power. What? Ah! My turn! Uh, okay, almost. We can almost do that. Oh, we could give a boost, but it's not really necessary when enemies are this weak. What? I'll be serious! Will you? He actually has more health than I thought he did. Spiral dream! Still we could see what her normal attack combinations look like. Or actually we we could do Alright, we don't have enough anyway, so that's kinda of relevant. Uh I was gonna do an EX combo, but we'd have to we have to have at least one and we cannot do that, so it's kinda of whatever. Get 
drive. I leveled up. She got madness flash. And she got giant breaking waves. I'm gonna have to remember to actually mess with their combos. Oh, I finally won against Doggy. Doggy. But it's totally because of you guys that I defeated it. Thanks so much. Aw, oh, shucks. No need to thank us. We're friends now. I'd go to bat for you any day of the week. She's right. We're friends now. Um, so... What's your name, CPU Uzume? It's Orange Heart. That's so cool. I was really surprised by your transformation, Uzume. I thought you'd get even more aggressive in HDD form, but you're completely the opposite. I can't get over it. It's so crazy. Huh? Nepsy, why do you know about CPUs? Oh, duh, that's right. There was so much going on, I forgot to tell you we're both CPUs too. What? Like for real? Don't play with me, Nepsy. Cross my heart. I am Purple Heart, the patron CPU of Planetune, able to leap giant dugoos in a single bound. I can even calm crying children. Except... I kind of have no shares here, so it's not like I could transform and just show you. So, you're a CPU too, Gearsy? Yes, I am. Although, technically, I'm a CPU candidate. Wow, this is crazy! Never in a million years would I have imagined I'd run into CPUs in a desolate place like this! So cool! Oh, believe me, we're just as surprised. But I'm sure this is fate. You're totally right! Ugh! Ran out of time! Ran out of time? Oh, right! It looked like you were using a share crystal to transform. <laughs> For some reason when he goodness? growls... It's still alive? For some reason when they growl, it's, just, it's hilarious to me. He's like... Growl! <laughs> <laughs> what are you even doing? <laughs> Damn it! You're a resilient bastard, aren't you? Do you want another beating, you idiot? Shoot! Any more of this is gonna be tough, even for me! Y'all have full health, and he does, like, no damage. You're exaggerating. <laughs> but if it still wants a fight, then we'll keep going till the very end! It... ran away? Of course it did. It's running away because of my intimidating strength. Yeah, ha! Keep on walking, tough guy! I mean, I know that's not supposed to be taken seriously. Like, she's just... boasting for nothing, because she's probably supposed to be, like, very low health now, but, um... That's, that seems pretty legitimate, considering how quickly we stomped him into the ground. Neptune, I think it's just leaving because of its heavy lacerations. It's just hurt. I'm not satisfied that I couldn't finish it off, but now I can finally take on that giant! W wait just a second, Uzume! How can you be thinking of fighting that giant thing with those injuries? What's the matter, Nepsy? What happened to- We'll keep going till the very end. Once again, they all have basically full HP. Not anywhere close to legitimate concerns. You know that's not what I mean. All I'm saying is you might not make it if you try fighting with those wounds. I don't think she even got hit. I think the only one who got hit was Neptune. <laughs> Incoming! Ah! <laughs> that sounded silly too. Surprise attack? How cowardly! Let's return the favor twofold, girls! It's our turn to debut! Ouch! Are you okay, Uzume? Did you get hurt from that explosion just now? Okay, no, this I can, I can kind of accept. Because it didn't happen in battle, so... I'll accept this one. And I didn't give them any defense-boosting items, really. So they all still take normal damage, they just hit like a truck. You kidding? It takes more than that to take me down. Let's focus on how we can kill this thing. Oh crap! Did everyone get out okay? It's me. What's your status? 
Have they all been evacuated? Uzume, we've just finished. We're in the next town over. Oh, good. We just made it. Yes, they're safe now. Thanks to you, Uzume. Then I can fight without reservations. Thanks for the update. Seems like everyone was able to escape safely. It's all because of you two. Thank you. Of course. But don't you think it's time we escape as well? Escape? I've been waiting so long for another chance at this giant. You just want to waste it? <laughs> ah! Watch out! Huh? Phew! Just dodged it by the skin of our hairs. Neptune! Uzume! Are you both all right? We're fine. I mean, it was too close for comfort, but it looks like we're okay. Yeah, thanks to you, Nepsy. Dang it, Uzume. You really think it's a good idea to fight this thing when you're all beat up? Of course I do. It's too risky. Let's get out of here while we still can. Shut the hell up. <laughs> I haven't had a shot like this in so damn long, and I don't expect you to get it, but I'm gonna fight. If you want to leave, then just go. What are you saying? There's no way you can hold your own with that thing when you're so beat up. No, I can do this. I'm gonna fight even if the flesh is falling off my bones. Hardcore. Besides, I won't lose in a fight even if I die. Even if I have to go down with it, huh? Hey yeah! <laughs> uh, ouch! What the hell are you doing? You can't do it alone, Uzume. Drop the tough girl act and live to fight another day. You know, they say where there's life, there's rope. R rope I... I think she meant to say hope. Yeah, that's the word, hope. All the good little monsters were able to escape. Isn't that good enough for now? You don't need to push yourself, pal. Anyway, that's how it's gonna be. Nepgear, give me a hand here. Okay! Whoa! Hey! Let me go, you jerks! You can't just pick me up like this! Put me down! Got a good grip on her, Neptunior? Let's blow this pineapple stand. Hey! Listen to me, damn it! <sighs> Phew. I think this is probably far enough. Doesn't look like we were followed, either. You idiots! Getting in the way like that? How could you? You two know a CPU's sworn duty is to protect her people, and how could- Hey, Uzume, you're alive. A CPU also kinda needs to be alive to keep doing her job, you know? <sighs> yeah, I know. I guess I should be thankful, so... Thank you. Heh, <laughs> no need. I'm just glad you're here. Is there any place we could rest? We've all taken quite a beating, and we need to find a place to tend to Uzume's injuries. None of these things are actual things that we currently need. Yeah, let's head back to my base. Even now, it's out of the way of danger, and I have a lot of supplies we could use. Okay, now we have to go back. I'm just going to confirm that thing that I just said before. Oh, no. oh, I thought I would keep playing. My... You know what, no. I was being... I don't know why I'm messing with stuff so much in the first place. I'll just read it. I mean, the only person who commented on the last episode did say that they liked the Japanese voices, but, uh, I don't know. I'm just gonna read it. <laughs> so what's happening with that giant thing? Is it gonna make its way over here at some point? Am I gonna need to show it my final form? Don't worry. Looks like after its little rampage, it disappeared again. That's usually what it does. Oh, 
so we made it out safely. Well, yeah, but that area destroyed is no good to us anymore. I'm a little worried we're running out of places to go. But I'm glad. But I am glad everyone got out okay. Plus, we were able to s seriously injure that mutt. Even the small victories are pretty sweet. You girls are pretty worn out too, right? I've got some food if you're hungry, and blankets if it gets cold. Make yourselves at home. Okay, so now we can go in here, and there's conversations to be had. Huh? What's this one say? I've never seen this place before. But where is this? I'm making this into an article is my job as a game industry reporter. I'll chase after Neptune and write an article. What in the world is this world? What will happen to Neptune and the others? As a game industry reporter, I have to see this to the end. And if I make it into an article, I'll beat the other reporter. <laughs> They're competing. My name is Miss Manuel. I'll give you advice on the game. You can always check help topics in the help menu. That's more or less irrelevant. Hey, Neptune. What do you think this city's called? Beats me, but, uh, why are you asking? I thought I'd keep a record of our experience and document any irregularities we encounter. I'm very curious as to why these buildings took look so much like planetunes. It's odd, isn't it? Ah, let's ask Uzume. She'd know for sure. Hmm, the name of this city. Sorry, I don't know it either. Huh? You don't know? You're the CPU. Well, yeah, I'm the CPU, but to be honest, all my memories are gone. What? I woke to the side of the city in shambles, and that's the earliest thing I can recall. It's a lane that I don't even know what its name is. The only thing I'm sure of is that I am the CPU of this nation, and that giant is responsible for its destruction. Oh, I'm sorry. I had no idea. It's alright, really. Nothing for you to worry about, Gearzy. Having no memories isn't hurt me in any way. It is what it is. Sorry I can't really help. So I've been meaning to ask, but where did you and Gearsy come from, Nepsy? We live in Planetum. Ever heard of it? Oops. Just kicked my desk. Planetum? What's wrong, Uzume? Oh, nothing really. I think it's just fatigue finally catching up to me. So, Planetune was it? Sorry, but I don't think I know it. I see. Only there is the possibility that it's a nation from across the ocean. Across the ocean? Yeah, I've never been. I'm not sure what's over there. Then does that mean that we've crossed an ocean and ended up on another continent without even knowing it? Is that possible? I can't say I'm very convinced. But it would explain why the end gear has no reception and why we can't transform. Do you two remember how you even got here? It didn't seem like you flew or anything. We're not actually not sure of that ourselves. I pressed the power button on the game console I was trying to fix. Then a giant vortex appeared, sucked us in, and we ended up in the sea. A vortex, huh? No matter how you look at it, a faraway continent or not, that must have warped you guys here. Oh hey, it's been bothering me for a while, but why can't we feel any shares here? Well, there aren't any people, anywhere. What? There may be some humans in places I have no knowledge of, but I've never seen them. So that's why we couldn't feel any share power at all. And that's why you use a share crystal to transform. But where did you find something as rare as a share crystal? Oh, it was just flying around here somewhere. What? You just find share crystals on the ground? Is that normal here? Definitely. But that's impossible. Share crystals are the condensed crystallization of invisible share energy. How can they just be found on the ground? Probably because they were inside a people, but then those people were dead. So they dropped a share crystal. Because this is a video game. That's right, but is something wrong? In order to manufacture a share crystal, you need a huge amount of shares. And a special formula in order to crystallize it. Before this, when fighting an enemy called the Deity of Sin, the oracles of our nation created share crystals but barely managed to make four. But those would just be lying out in the open. Huh, so that's how share crystals are made. To be honest, even I don't know why the share crystals are lying on the ground. So for you, they're like slightly rare items that can give you a temporary boost in shares? 
Yeah, something like that. That's why I always carry him with me, so I won't run out. Look. Amazing. This might be, this might be the first time I've seen such a large pile of share crystals. Okay, I don't know if this is true or not, but I'm going to make a random prediction that all of those share crystals are actually the people of this nation or of this world. So every time she uses a share crystal, she's killing them. And it's going to come back around to be some super terrible thing that they ended up doing. I don't know if that's true or not, but I'm making that bet. It's embarrassing, but I can't go HDD unless I have these things, so my allies are always on the lookout for more. Oh man, you're really living life on the edge. Can't be helped. Besides, it's good to have something to rely on. Well, you can rest assured from now on. Even if I can't transform, the goddess of victory is on my side. I've got high hopes for you guys. Alright then, if that's the case, then let's celebrate by having a delicious juice party. <coughs> Up here, lend me your strength. You got it. I think those two turned out to be CPUs. That headache just now. Planetoon. Even though it's my first time hearing it, why does it make me feel so uneasy? Okay. Hey, Uzume, I have a question about that thing. Hmm? You mean about the giant? Yeah, that. We keep calling it stuff like the giant or that thing, but does it have an actual name? A name, huh? I never really thought about it. I wonder if it has a name at all. You don't know anything about its real identity either, right? Like, where it came from or what its purpose is here? I don't know anything about that. It's not like I can just talk to it. All I know is that it's on a warpath whenever it appears. When it destroys cities, it erases them from existence. They just vanish. I keep saying it, but we're actually running out of places to hide. What? Those cities just, they just vanish? That's the craziest thing I've ever heard. That's not all. I haven't seen them myself, but there are also three other giants as well. They destroyed the other three nations. There are four of those things? Oh, jeez. We picked a really bad time to visit this place. Okay. Well... We have another one, but we're edging on 30 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this here. And uh, we'll come back in... ...in the next episode, and do that mission, or do that little cutscene thing, and then we'll probably continue with the main storyline shenanigans. And, you know, just have a really loud noise from my phone right as I'm about to end the recording. Because, you know, that's fun. <laughs> Either way, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.